Hello again. Alright, so I uh, finally got through all of this stuff, so uh, fight's done. Uh, long story short, it was just ridiculously laggy, and it seemed to just be a mix of the rain, the number of things, and for whatever reason it caused the emulator to freak out and like, now I can't handle all these extra sprites for some reason. Price is just fine. A couple extra sprites? No, that's unacceptable. Alright, well, any dang ways, at least there's no rain inside here, so... So, let's see what's going on down here. Mm, did somebody just turn 32? You did. Well... I guess I don't really need Azleston in here. Probably don't need Murden either. I've been relying a lot on these casters lately. Just because they have a tendency to burn through absolutely everything. Actually, in general, there uh, there seems to be kind of a thing where, yeah, the uh, the casters seem pretty near unstoppable in a lot of situations. Uh, these ones aren't okay. I don't believe I have her optimized for I want where I want her to be. Uh, I don't know. I gotta meditate. I don't know. Like worst case scenario, they're doing seventies and such, but they can still end up doing hundreds. Like this guy seems pretty well resistant and still pretty decent. Oh well, as per usual. Say a thing, get immediately disproven. As it goes. <laughs> yeah, this music just absolutely reminds me of FFTA2 every single time. I'm pretty sure it's the same composer. Not 100% sure, but it absolutely feels that way. Every single piece of this theme. <laughs> so if there's something to the lich that I'm missing, by the way, you know, let me know. Because aside from, you know, slightly better casting abilities and all that, uh, he has, I mean, he's got the, the sign of intellect. I haven't made that many of those things. Uh, frankly, I've given everybody else, you know, some manner of like, specialized choker or whatever else. Um... But yeah, it's this reflect thing. Now, where is it? Reflection. So yeah, I mean the the bounce thing is nice, but it's rare that it actually ever comes into play. Uh, pretty much uh, as soon as he's done charging, the fights are already over. You know, without spending two turns on you know force feeding him stakes or something. I don't know. I'm sure there's something I'm missing. Mm -hmm. uh, last time there was a lot of worry about holding lines and that sort of thing out here. Now that everybody's gotten their specializations going and does a pretty decent amount of damage... I don't know, there's a lot less of that going on. Typically they go out, they throw their pure ones out. Round two they start throwing better stuff out and then from there they just sort of focus fire everything until it dies. Most of these fights have gotten pretty trivial. Did I take counter off of uh, Denim? That's weird. Pretty sure I didn't. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's still act no, he's actually using a lot of his old uh, old stuff from the end fight there because I didn't want him to be countering. That's what's going on. Whoops. A nice thing about these guys taking some pretty crazy damage, uh, they can typically go back and return it. All of them points and stuff. All of them points. I'll probably go back and take out this guy. Yep. And I'm sure some people will get knocked out, and that's fine. Not the end of the world. Oh, actually, one uh, nifty thing that's apparently coming up. Uh, as I understand, the uh, curses are getting reworked. So there might be two new abilities coming up soon. That'll be dandy. Guess it's time to pop out that old reflection daily. 
Uh, first off, you hit this one. And I guess hope he does some sort of magic -y type thing because that's all this is going to do. I mean, it would be really nice if it reflected both physical and magical stuff. But, you know, seems like it would be more worth it, but just magic stuff, I don't know. Just doesn't seem worth the cost. I could be wrong on that. There could just be something that I'm really missing, but it doesn't feel that way to me. So, that being said, I think that's one of his um, base game abilities. Once again, could be wrong. I do that a lot. <laughs> Alright, so we're probably going to lose two people here. And then just clean up the rest. Or hopefully I've positioned them in such a way where I don't lose those two people. Alright. Fair enough. This is going a lot better than I ever would have expected. No complaints. Alright, rip you. Very nice to see these guys not be kind of useless late game. Well, okay, these ones in particular, no, they would never actually be useless, but just casters in general actually doing damage. That's nice to see. Because generic casters seem to drop off the face of the earth in base game. <clears throat> at, least, uh, at least as far as I've seen. I've never been terribly excited about caster characters anyway. Same old paranoia I've actually mentioned a few times. Like, I constantly have a feeling that whatever they're using is just going to stop working out of nowhere. <coughs> I apologize for the uh, throat clearing and stuff. And I'm uh, feeling a little bit out of sorts today. I had uh, one of these situations where I went to help a relative out with some, um, some cleaning and such sort of thing. And that's up with a move and... Oof. I think I breathed in something I wasn't supposed to. It's been feeling like absolute crap since then. He thought he's damaged. That's adorable. <coughs> <laughs> Dead. So is this stasis blade actually supposed to be an FFT reference? Something I wondered a few times now. Feels like it should be. Guess what? Dead. Rip your face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, you ruin it. Shot Bree! Or Shari D. I like calling it Shot Bree. Or Shot Bree. It's wrong. It's definitely wrong, but. Many things are. Smack this guy upside the head. You sure can. Good job. Worth the risk? Probably not. Doesn't matter. Fight's pretty much done anyway. Alright, so we can be able to summon terminate someone. 
or not. Good enough. Killing yourself. You're just delaying the inevitable. <laughs> there we go. That did absolutely nothing. Oh well. And I love this guy's movement range right now. I don't know if there's any items that increase movement range, but if there are, that'd really be something. I know they existed in uh, AOL, well, I mean to some extent. Uh, pretty much if you gave somebody a uh, Snapdragon, it caused them to be so friggin' lightweight that they would just pretty much fly across the dang place. It's not overpowered whatsoever. for the end of the trivial fight. There we go. Alright, any more fancy stuff? Uh, not really. Oh well. Anyway, gotta go. See you in the next bit.